All right, guys, let's go ahead and do a video for Libra or Libra Cross Watcher. This can also be reversed. It could even be somebody connected to you, but somehow maybe they're thinking about this towards another. I like it. It's really nice. I heard Love Me Tenderly <laughs> before I started this. Isn't that a song? I'm not going to go off that. I actually wrote a whole thing for you. I'm kind of in people's heads today. Like, I don't know. It's weird. It's like I'm, I'm hearing people's thoughts or something. So I'm going to tell you what I got from this person to you, unless it's reversed. But first, let me look up Love Me Tenderly. Oh, there's a movie called Love Me Tender. Elvis. Love Me Tender lyrics. Oh, it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> okay, listen. Somebody here might be falling for someone. Um, you could be falling for someone. In fact, unless it's reversed, I get that you are falling for someone. Your feelings are already there. I wrote down, you either have new feelings for someone, renewed feelings for someone, or a tender spot for someone. You could even have new hope when it comes to a connection between you and a particular individual. If that's not you, it's reversed, okay? Now this person, <laughs> they are an intellectual thinker. This is someone who's not a very emotional person. They have a heart, they have emotions in there, but they don't lead with that. And there, not many people really stand out to this person. They don't get carried away with the whole love thing. It's not really the most important thing to them. It's like, whatever. Uh, but you've caught their eye, or you've caught their eye again, if it's renewed interest or renew love, something like that, right? Or they have a heart for you in some way. A lot of you, I think this is romantic though. So. Because someone feels they connect to you on an intellectual level, it makes them also have some affection for you, maybe even love. It's safe to say this is mutual. So what you're feeling for someone, unless it's reversed, they're also feeling for you. But either way, even if it is reversed, you and another are going to feel, if not already, feel this attraction to each other because you get each other on a mental level. It's like someone is saying, because I get you, I understand your mindset and where you're coming from that I'm attracted to you for that. Like a sapiosexual. I love how you think, how you see things. I admire how you compose yourself, the stance you take on things, the drive you have. I also admire that you have your own mind. You think for yourself. Your style of doing things, seeing things, all of that combined is attractive to me. You're interesting and you think deeply as do I and I appreciate those qualities in a person I'm actually quite impressed with you on a personal level and most people do not impress me whatsoever you stand out I find you to have integrity morals while also being open to new perspectives Wow impressed they're impressed by you Mm-hmm. Yeah. And because of that, like you've left an impression on a person, you know, even if this is someone you've dealt with before, in whatever way, vice versa, if someone's left an, or, yeah, left an impression on you and you've somehow, you know, already known each other, met each other, it took a little time for some of you. It took some time. That's why I feel this renewed love or this kind of renewed affection like, whoa, I didn't see this before in them, but I see this now. They're actually a very deep person and they're not just like, oh, la la la, head in the clouds, but like quite grounded as well. I find them intriguing. I love to hear them talk. I want to hear them talk. I want to hear you talk. I want to hear your mind. I want to hear what you think about things, how you see things. I really thoroughly enjoy that. That's what they're saying. Okay. Someone thoroughly enjoys, I don't know, connecting with you, listening to you, or they did in the past or something like that. If this hasn't happened yet, that's what's going to happen. Unless this isn't resonating, it could be someone that's somehow connected to you they're thoroughly enjoying connecting to another and vice versa, okay? It's like I've I've somehow discovered someone. Oh, I gotta take this, one second. Sorry guys, had to take that. That was my kid. 
Anyway, so where are we at? Basically, someone, they're impressed with you. They enjoy, t either they enjoy talking to you currently or they really want to talk to you or talk to you more. They, they would enjoy it. I'm going to speak as if it's current just because it's easier for me not to get confused. But someone loves talking to you. Like, they want more. Give me, give me more. Give me more. Give me, give me more. Like, you're, you're so multi-faceted you're multi-dimensional you're not just one way you might even come off very different than you actually are i don't know it's interesting I, I think this person finds you to be someone that they constantly are learning about because of the way you see things and the way you say things you know they no sooner think that they've got you pegged and they're like wow there's like a brain in there there's like not only a brain in there this person's fucking uh entertaining and interesting and deep like this is someone who doesn't want to to be honest they don't want to get bored they get bored probably easily or they just people just they find them to be highly unintelligent most people the average person and they're not they're not saying you need to be a mathematician or be good with all the programming and the brainwash in fact they 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 like that you aren't they like that you're kind of like your own I'm hearing it like your own act you are your own entity they like this it's intriguing to someone because most conversations they have with people go round about the same type way uh, how's your day this and that let's talk about sports politics things like that or work or just bullshit shooting the shit nonsense conversation and conversation with you goes to a whole ass another level I'm talking <laughs> shit that this person's like whoa whoa they may even I mean if this person gets high they would almost be a little uncomfortable around you because of how you think they wonder if it's like high ideas but it's actually just your ideas it's just literally the way that you think you wouldn't have to be high you're basically walking around naturally high all the time and and you always have these thoughts these are like always there how many fucking rabbit holes have you fell down well this person can tell because just listening to you and hearing you talk and your take on things and how and, and like the direction you take them it's like I would have never thought of that and I think of a lot of shit I think of a whole lot of shit in fact I think so much <laughs> I think so much I'm surprised my brain fits in my head <laughs> but you <laughs> they're cute this person's funny too yeah it's almost like wow have you ever met anyone like that I have I've met a few people like that but yeah, some people that still to this day, I'm like, I would like to talk to that person again because it's not boring. Like, we could sit there and just talk about, like, let's say we were to talk about one of my favorite subjects, death. I, I see death in so many ways or even marriage and love. And I take it, I can take it a lot of different directions. Like, in my mind, I have labels in my mind, right, to, to not get confused. It's like lockers in a school and they say a subject right and then if you open that locker there's like portals that go into other areas and i'm like well i could see it this way but then i can also see it this way see what i'm saying you have these morals you do have your morals you know what you stand for but you're also very open-minded when it comes to other ways of seeing things because you can go there you're not just like no this is how it is this is the only way you're willing and open to see it in many different ways because you understand that the way is always winding and not necessarily straight or narrow there are many different ways to i hear it like skin a chicken there's many different ways to see things and you're not the type to even argue over nonsense like normal whatever that is average everyday conversations people have would probably bore someone like you vice versa if this is reversed because it's like there's so much more and then you may even also see that life is actually quite simple, but also complex at the same time. It's both simultaneously. It's simple and complex. Wow, mind fucking blown. In fact, some of the things that you've said, whether you've said it directly to this person or you've said it in general and they've heard it through the grapevine or by doing research on you, I don't know, is like <laughs> still, playing in their mind and it might have been a little while ago now and, and it's still in their head and they're like 
Yeah, I don't know. You might even change their own mind. And this is the person that would sit behind a desk out in public and say, change my mind. That would be this person. This person here would be like, I'm talking even maybe stubborn, like you can't change my mind because I already know what I know. And I'm not saying they don't. This is a very, very smart person. It would be a very good debater. This, this is the type of person you probably wouldn't even want to debate with because they know the shit they know they know. But they're realizing that as much as they know, there's so much that they don't know because they didn't even consider half the shit that you've brought up. They're like, damn. Hmm. It gives me something to think about. And they love to think. This is someone who would be great at solving puzzles or mysteries or how things work. They might even, they might even like watching shows or channels where it's like putting things together and then, and then how is it made? How is it made? They like to see how things are made. They like to make things themselves or they really could be good with their hands. They could be very uh, just detail oriented. They like to, you know, very, I don't know, they're very intellectual. It's a really smart person. They could even like to read. They enjoy the mind. The mind is where the heart is to this person. The mind is where the heart is. People say home is where the heart is. This person believes the head is where the heart is. <laughs> they like that as well, you know. But if I can be intrigued by you and impressed by you and you have a brain and you think outside the box and you aren't just believing to believe and just thinking you know everything but you're willing to like expand and you can teach me shit. You want to get married? I mean, you want to get married? I'm being serious. Like, wow. You know, that'll turn somebody on. It's like a huge, huge, huge turn on to someone. Like blown away by you. I can't say any I can't say any other way. I mean this is gonna be a short message because it's plain as day. It's clear as day. I think this is an individual who uh <sighs> Like, it's sexy. It's really sexy to them, uh, vice versa. If this is you, it's really sexy to you that, you know, you know what you know, and you're not wrong. But the fact that there's even other ways to see it, and that that's been presented to you now, or that it's, if this is reversed, that's been presented to them now, whoever this is, is like, oh my God. They wanna know more, you know? Like, oh my God. I mean, if this doesn't end up being romantic, it could be one of those things where it's like, now I like highly, you're like my, my guru now or my teacher now or someone I highly respect now because of your mind and how you see things. Like you, wow. I just, wow. You know, uh, Muji, I have a lot actually of people that really blow my mind, but Muji is one of them. I just really love the way that he sees things and like when he says, I quote him all the time, but Muji Baba says things like, you'll purchase the map to find you're already here. What you're looking for is where you're looking from. I mean, come on now. It's so simple. And it's like, how did I think of that? And then it like blows your mind and you're like, oh my God, because we're all out here like bending out of shape and everything and getting all at least myself, you know? And then when I come across Muji, I'm like, well, son of a bitch, you're right. You're right. Why? You know, you question things, you say things, you put things out there that most people probably wouldn't say or question. And you're like, why are we doing this? Why? Let, let, let's say you say, why are we all feeling like we have to get married? Why do we all feel like that? And if we don't have a person, we feel like alone, depressed, sad. Why do we all feel like that? Like, where did that first start? I don't believe we all came here to do the same thing. And now I'm using that example because that's the way that I feel. Um, and you can be like, well, there's other ways to see things and other things and blah, 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 blah. Just other ways to see things, you know, like there's other ways to see things. <laughs> like, uh, you can have someone that could be very, um, uh, political or very religious, you know, and they're very wise. I'm not saying they're not, I'm talking, they know their shit in that area, but then you bring to them all these fresh perspectives and, and just whatever of you just thinking outside the box, different portals and you're not. Con you're not controlling the way they see anything. You're just like, hey, believe whichever one you want or believe none of them, you don't have to. I'm just gonna share with you how I see it. And because it's so different than what they usually hear, it's like, wait a second. So then they kind of hold on to it. 
because it stands out. It's not something they usually hear or have ever heard. And it's like, whoa, you know? So either somebody here is like, I don't know, you're like their mentor now, straight up their mentor. Uh, they value your intelligence. They value your mindset. They value you as a person. And <laughs> they find you to be, I don't even know. I don't know the word. It fails me, but, or they're falling in love with you because of this or already outright did. And then we would need to know, okay, is this gonna, like, could this go anywhere? Because I'm kind of, I'm kind of taken by you now. I'm kind of intrigued by you and yeah, it's like deep. I've been, I've been talking about this movie because I'm kind of obsessed with it now. But I just saw it, so of course I'm obsessed with it. It's fresh in my mind. I'm gonna mention it here. It's called, let me not get this messed up because there's sequels, there's three movies. You guys need to watch it. It's called Before Sunrise. That's the first movie. I haven't seen the other two yet, but anyway, it's got Ethan Hawke in it and this lady named Julie Delpy. I keep mentioning it, but it's big. And I, I think it's one of the most beautifully executed romantic movies ever and it's not really my thing like I went from being really into horror movies and scary movies and all that and I can still watch certain horror movies but they have to be I don't know certain ones I cannot it's like the energy is fucked and, and it fucks with me and then some I can watch if they're not too bad if they're more realistic like someone is like I don't know unhinged I can watch something like that but now I'm kind of moving into more where I'm really kind of appreciating love and how people see romance even if it's ways that I don't even see it I appreciate taking it in and just listening really that's how you see that's how you see shit and how you're able to kind of change your mind a little bit on a lot of things is when you just kind of observe and you listen and it's like hmm instead of being like ready to shut it off and be like love's not like that or life's not like that and just be like well maybe it is for that person i don't fucking know anyway so the movie's called before sunrise and they just spend the whole movie walking around and the to me it's real type love like it's real to me how I would see love to be because they're not just like all hung up in the blah 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 they're actually getting to some pretty deep questions with each other and shit that most people talk about after they've been together a while they start talking about that in the first just night they don't even get a whole 24 hours together and uh it's so intriguing there's that word it just really is and, and their on-screen chemistry I can't stop saying that is absolutely believable like it's so believable like you would really think these people were together because of their eye contact and the way they're so into each other's conversation like they listen and then they reply they have great conversation I mean that can build a relationship there it builds a bond when you can fucking get someone mentally you know and so watch that movie please watch that movie find it somewhere on the internet it's called before sunrise and watch how they interact with each other and how they listen to one another and then they engage and they don't and they even have their mishaps as well they're things they don't necessarily agree on and stuff but they just roll with it like they're just rolling with it and kind of giving each other new perspectives because they don't necessarily agree on everything but they're willing to talk about it and discuss and that's very important and that is what's happening here between you and another or what will happen if it hasn't ha happened yet or what did happen in the past at some point and this person wants to connect again if not with you and this is your message and this isn't kind of something you resonate with this could be somebody connected to you they're dealing with this with another or will be or already have wow so i guess i'm gonna leave it there that's what we got thank you guys for being here with me and i'll talk to you later bye